welcome to All Creator Tools. I am your host, Colsey, and today we're going to be taking a look at a tool called Mix It Up. Here we are on Mix It Up's website, and as you can see, the first line they have, the only streaming bot you'll ever need, period. Mix It Up is a free, full-featured, community-driven, open-source stream bot developed by streamers for streamers. So we're going to take a look at it today, a brief look. Mix It Up is a very, very deep and sometimes complicated looking bot. We're going to go through a few things that you can do, how to set it up and stuff like that. Now, there is going to be a lot more that you are able to do with this, but we are going to merely scratch the surface today and get you into using Mix It Up. So this is Mix It Up. Uh, you can see that I have an existing profile, but if you want to set up a new profile, you go to here, you accept. Uh, you click through all of this stuff and you can log in with your Twitch or your YouTube or your Trovo. So uh, that's how you do that. We're not going to do that today. So we're going to just log into my Colsey Gaming profile. Okay, so once it's loaded in, you'll see here we are in Mix It Up. Uh, this is the chat, loads upon the chat screen. So obviously, if you're live on stream, this is where all of your chat will come up. You can see that I have a couple of bots already in here. So these are just bots that I have used in the past. We'll start off by going into the settings just to briefly go over those. So you can set, obviously, your default streaming platform, your default streaming software. Chat, we have uh, a lot of settings we can do with chat here. We can add separators between messages, change the font size, save the chat. Uh, and all of this. Many, many things you can see here. A lot of stuff we can do. That's briefly the settings. I'm not going to play around too much in the settings. Again, there's a lot to do in the settings, but I want to really get into some stuff you can do for your stream using Mix It Up to make your stream more interesting, more fun, more engaging, all of that good stuff. So we will start off by going over here. Now you can see for starters, if we want to add another account, say you want to log into both uh, different things, uh, both platforms or all three platforms, whatever you're using, you can do that here. Uh, you can also log in with a bot, which means you're able to then use a bot to post things and stuff. I will not be doing that today, but if you want to do that, I'll show you a couple of ways in which you could use your bot rather than you using your own streamer account. So that's how you log into other accounts. You'll see that there are a lot of options here. Now we can do a lot of stuff. There's things, simple things like commands that we've we've gone over a million times in many other bot tools. This adds a bunch of pre-made commands which are here, but you can add custom ones if you want to. Say you wanted to, you know, make a, a test. Chat triggers. So we'll go, um, hello. We'll just call it hello, right? So, and then you can do loads of stuff. You can add an action. So you can add a chat message. Uh, so we will add a chat message, which we can send a streamer. So if we tick that, it will send us a streamer. If we untick that, it will send us the bot that you're logged into. But we can just put hello, welcome to stream exclamation mark, right? And if we save that, there we go. We have simply a very simple uh, test message that will do that. Now we can test these things while we're not live. Uh, so if I go over to my Twitch, uh, if we go over here, here's my Twitch. If I type in uh, exclamation mark, Hello, that was what we set, right? Hello, welcome to the stream. Sends us me. So there we go. Very simple test of a very simple command that we've used there. Now, obviously, we can customize this and we can do a lot more than just a chat message. We can add all of these different effects. So that was just a very simple way to show you how a chat message works. You can change the user permission. You can change timeout and stuff like that. That's all in here. Um, if you change it up here, you can change the uh, timeout. Uh, you can also change things like currency requirements. Uh, and uh, rank requirements. And again, this might not make a lot of sense right now, but we will cover that shortly. That's commands. Again, events uh, are another thing you can do. So you can do sort of add a command on an event. So say uh, when your Twitch channel stream starts, you can add a command. So you could add a chat message or whatever you want that says, hello, stream live. And again, send a streamer. So very much exactly the same thing we did before, but you can just do it linked to uh, an actual event that's happening, whether that be on Twitch, whether that be on YouTube, whether that be any of these things. So you can you can add a command that happens on uh, a user entering, a user's first message. We have one here on chat message received, which I have already played with and set up a little bit. So we'll look at that in a short moment because that is uh, something that we will take a look at soon. So, and again, timers is very much kind of the same as commands. It is a command that is set basically on a timer. You can see how you would set up a command uh, to basically activate on a timer, whether that be, you know, however many messages come through because you don't want it to be spamming your chat. Uh, and also you don't want it to be happening too often. So you can set the time limit there. So you know that every so often, however long you set, 
that's how long that command will take to refresh and do again. Timers, again, very simple, very light commands, simple to set up, easy to do, but again, with a lot of creativity and options available to you with the actions that you can do, you can really like, the world is your oyster. We'll now move on to something else. So music player we have here, which is simply a music player. So if you select the folder that you have in your PC, so if I'll just select a folder I have of uh, musics here. So here we go. So now I have then set this folder. You could create your own folder of custom songs that you want to play during stream. And then simply you can click play and it will play the songs. And then you can then use actions to interact with this. Now you can use actions to increase volume, play, pause, stop. Uh, and it will cycle through all of your, the songs that are in the folder that you have specified. So if I go back to, say, a command, we'll create a quick custom command that is, say, music. And we'll type music skip because there's going to be a skip functionality here. So if we go into actions, we go down to music player. There we go. Then we can do an action here so we can skip. We can change. We can go next. We can play specific song. We can change volume. So this one would be skip. So we'll just make it next. So again, when this is typed into chat, uh, music skip, it would skip to the next song. Again, a good way to interact with your music player, a good way to interact with the audience. It's a cool option and it's all kind of built in here, which is very simple. You just have the folder on your PC of the songs and then they are able to skip through them, which I think is is really good. Now, you can also change the audio output device, which personally I like because uh, it means that you can then put it as a separate uh, layer kind of thing in your stream. You can put it as a separate audio source and then you can dial that in, you know, mute that. You can control that with OBS and stuff if you want to do that. So, for example, if I wanted it to go to only the uh, music section of my mixer, then I can do that, which means that then when I play it, it comes through only that section. Whereas I can also change it and put it through, say, game. And that will play on a different layer. Now, it sounds the same to you, but for me, it just means it's more controllable on my streaming software. So that's music player. Right, we'll move on. Uh, currency rank inventory. Now, this is a really cool feature, which I like. It enables you to give like a uh, an incentive, a currency, a ranking system, uh, an item inventory to your users, to your viewers, which I think is really cool. So for example, We'll go in here and we'll create our own currency for my own stream. So we will call it Colsey Cash. So this is my own currency that I'm using. And it enables you to then allow users to collect uh, your currency based on what you set here. So the online rate is if they are online watching your stream, then you can set this to one per minute, one per hour, one per bit, custom disables it. You get five per three minutes whatever you want to do you can also set roll bonuses here so there's a regular bonus a sub bonus and a mod bonus so obviously if these users are regulars subs or mods they get a bonus uh, and on events as well you can do on a follow on a host on a subscribe they also get bonuses there so it's it gives you uh, a way to incentivize these things these interactions with your stream which is really cool and then your users can then redeem these for whatever you decide to set as a redeemable thing let's just keep it simple that is how we do that if you wanted to add a rank system you can add it here so if you wanted to add a new rank say uh top tier and the minimum points they have to have is like a hundred right you can add this uh, and you can also add a command on a user ranking up or ranking down. So you can add like a little sound effect. You can add a little pop up on screen to say this user has been ranked up to new rank. That's a that's a little cool thing we can do here. I really like that idea. I like it as a way to uh, get your viewers to more interact with the stream, to be more regular on stream, to make sure to come by and watch as much of the stream as they can to gain as much of your specific currency as you can. So we will turn off the rank system for now, but you see how that would work. Also, when you save this, so when you save this, it will then add autom it will ask you, won't add automatically, but it will ask you if it, if you would like to automatically add these commands. So these commands, for example, show users amount, adds amount to a specific user. So you would set that to say uh, a mod can do that or only you can do that. You can just gift a bit of extra currency to somebody. You can add amount to all chat users. So if you're doing a particular giveaway to all of your users that are currently there and you're giving them a bunch of currency because they're there for, uh, you know, an exciting moment or something like that, that'd be cool. It'll automatically create these. So if we just select yes, if we go back to commands, it will have created these. So moderators can add all the Colsey Cash, add Colsey Cash uh, and normal users can give Colsey cash so they can give each other money which is nice they're giving each other bits of their currency and interacting with each other not only with you the streamer which is always good to have a very uh interactive community that works together very well uh, and also their user can check their colsey cash 
So that's pretty cool. I like that idea a lot. It's very simple to set up. And the same with inventory. So if we add an inventory, you can add an item. You can create a shop. You can create a whole like marketplace in your stream where people can buy and sell these, these items that you've created. It's a very in-depth thing you can do, but I really like the idea of it. It would involve uh, a fair bit of setup, a fair bit of planning, but I think it would, it, it would result in a really, really nice feature for your stream. So if you want to do that, be sure to check that out there. Twitch channel points, we can add things here. We can add channel point redemptions, which is your standard Twitch channel points. Uh, so we can do things like this. So I've set up this little test one here, which merely plays uh, an image. So again, I've gone down here, selected overlay image. Uh, overlay images and videos but again any of the actions are available here and you can add multiple at once so if you wanted to add say a chat message as well as the overlay or a sound effect let's add a quick little audio thing i must have some sort of silly sound effects on my pc so we'll do that right now sound okay here we go sound so we'll add a sound effect so play sound uh we will play it okay a little bell sound okay we can play the little sound there you go. You heard it was like a little cash register. Cha-ching. That's happening. So these are all layered up. You can see that we have an image and a sound that will play. So we'll save that. And the way that this works. So we've created this command. Now, this command is clearly a Twitch reward, a redeemable uh, thing. So if you wanted to go onto your Twitch channel, if we go into our channel rewards and stuff, you'll see that we have uh, test and celebrate, which are two that I have created uh, using mix it up. So you can see that here the cost is one. Now, if you want to change that and make the cost, you know, 10 or whatever you want to make it and change the images and stuff, you can do that here. So that's where you would change all of that stuff after the fact. Now, how is that going to work? Because once you redeem it on Twitch, it's not just going to play on Twitch. So we have to put that into our streaming software. Now, how we do that, if we go into settings here and we go into overlays so this is overlays here so you'll see that i have created one called test if we create another one called uh colsey we'll just create this on the fly here and you'll see that we've created this called colsey now if you click the link it will open the link in a browser so it will open it and it will come up in this browser here so this is just what it is and this is the link to it up here so that's what's created now you need to go and make sure that you link so we need to make sure that these are linked to the correct overlay. So we can see here that we have default test Colsey. So these are just the three that I've created. Well, default was already there. So we'll go back to Colsey. We'll put it on Colsey, the overlay we just created. So then we save, and then this should then play on our overlay. Now, what you do is you'll copy the overlay. So you'll see the link, the link that we have. You can copy this into OBS as a browser source. Now, if I do that here just quickly, you won't be able to see me do this, but... It's very simple to do. Just add it as a browser uh, and then you add the URL into it and then it will add it to your screen. It will add it to your stream. Now, it will just be a transparent blank thing until we give it an action to try. So we're going to test this and it should pop up on screen for you. There we go. So it did it. There we go. Nice little pop up. We've got a little animation coming in and out, which I think is really cool. It's really cool to be able to do that. It played the sound effect. It played the video effect, which came through on stream really nicely. Now, if you want to change the duration of an image, you can do that here. You select the image via this. You can also change the position of it. So say if you wanted it to be up here or down here, simple percentage, random pixel, screen position, layer position. You can also change the animation, which I did do. I had a zoom in, zoom out so we can have a wobble and then on, on it leaving, we'll have a ta-da. Why not? So then all we do is we save this and then if we try this again and test command, there we go. It did a little bit of a different animation and it's going to do a different one going out. Oh, there we go. Very simple to set up and a lot you can do with it. Like I said, any of the actions that are available that you can do here, any of these actions you can add. Now, there is a lot of stuff. Like I said, we are merely scratching the surface here of what Mix It Up can do. If we go back and look quickly over the Mix It Up website, you'll see that it has a bunch of integrations. You can obviously use it with a Stream Deck. It has a bunch of integrations and stuff you can do with it. It also has a bunch of support. So there's a wiki if you need to look up how to do anything specifically. Say you wanted to look up how the music player works. Bunch of information here about how this works. So Mix It Up really have created a really great guide themselves on how to set things up. But I hope 
hope this video has given you a brief look on how Mix It Up could be useful to you and your streams, how to make your streams more engaging, more exciting, more fun for both you and your audience, which is always the main thing. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really does help us massively over here at All Creator Tools. And don't forget to go and sign up for our newsletter if you want even more tips and tricks from us. Thank you very much for watching and remember to always have fun creating.